Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ with Touch Pick Support. We are promoting our Print Picks box, and I'll show you how it works. It comes with the box, a power adapter, USB dongle. It can also be powered by a battery pack. All you need is a USB C to a USB A cable, and it also comes with a Wi Fi dongle attached to it. It's a pretty slick setup. I will be highlighting the DMP620, the QW410 and the DMP DS40 in this preview. I have them all connected to the same dongle. It's not recommended, but I'm doing it for the purposes of this tutorial. All you do when you receive our box is you turn on your camera app and you scan the QR code. The QR code will allow you to join the network that belongs to that little box. If you're having difficulties, the box itself has instructions to manually connect. Be patient, it takes about 30 to 30 seconds to a minute when you first get the box to establish that initial connection. Once it's connected, what you're going to want to do is open Safari and type in the instructions as listed in the box. In this case, it's print server. So it's tp print server dot local um, 3000 and hit enter. What that's going to allow you to do is go into the print server back end. Once you hit enter, as you can see, you'll see the back end with all the available networks. So it's going to let me bridge my internet connection. So you can also send text messages or emails. It also lists all the printers available and it actually picked up a house printer that I have on my local network. So you can see that the box did detect all printers. Once it's selected, now you can go into your TouchPix app, hit the settings tab, Go into the second menu for the printer. Make sure print box is selected. Make sure uh, you can leave it on manual or auto IP. Make sure the connection types network. Type in the IP address, which is 192.168.12.1. It's usually already pre-filled out. Once you hit connect and you see that disconnect, it means it's connected. Now select your printer. In this case, I'll be showcasing the QW410 initially. I'm going to select it. It automatically uh, detects your paper size. In my case, it's four by six. You can leave the manual selected. It'll enable a print button on the actual app. Once that's set up, you're gonna go into photo booth mode. I'm gonna do a quick test on the photo booth mode so you can see how quick it actually processes the print and it shoots it over to your printer um, wirelessly, basically. All that's connected to your printer uh, or the print picks box is your printer USB and power. That's pretty much it. You're gonna select print after the session is done. You're gonna hit next and you're gonna see the printer go into action immediately, which is a rapid style printing. It's the fastest box I've seen out in the market and is really recommended with touch picks. As you can see, the QW410 is nice and small. It can do four by six, it can do two by six with special media. So that's my printout, looks pretty nice. And yeah, that's basically the QW410, the speed and how you connect to print picks. That's not all, I'm gonna show you how to also connect it to the other printers. Going into settings, going down to the printer section, you can see that the printers are still connected. I'm now switching the printer to a 620. I want you guys to see how fast the 620 also prints. So it's gonna do the same four by six, Go back, I'm gonna go into my gallery, select print, and it's gonna print out the same file and it's gonna do it super quick. As you can see, the printer has already started printing and it will shoot the print. There we go, super fast. Last but not least, we're also gonna do the DS40. The DS40 is a great printer if you can get your hands on that. It's, it's, it's been a reliable workhorse for many, many years of mine. I own about eight of them myself. I love that printer. And it also prints really quick. So the, D, uh, the DS620 is a newer model of the, uh, the DS40, but it works really, really well. So uh, just so you can see the paper size, I'm gonna go ahead and deselect automatic paper size and I'm gonna do a quick sample how to enable cut. Six by four by two section enables the cutter obviously this is not a strip template but i'm just going to show you how fast it also prints and enables the cutter that way you can see that it printed out um, a strip format if you were to if your artwork would align to a strip format you can see how it will work as well 
Think about the possibilities. They're endless. Printing with the Roamer powered by TouchPix. This is a promo for our PrintPix box. Thank you.